Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about keys and how to create keyways and a key seat. Okay, key. So keys transfer forces. So keys are used to transfer forces from the axle to a wheel. So, you know, sometimes instead of using the word axle, they do use the word shaft or pin. Okay, axle is the educational term. And then uh, the other word is usually a wheel, but the wheel can be a gear as well. Okay, so you have to cut out, so slots are made in the axle and in the wheels. So you have to cut it out to fit this key. So over here, here's the pin here. Okay, here's the key. The red part's the key, the blue part's the pin. And in here, there's a key seat that holds it. And there's a keyway on the top. Okay, and I'll explain that. In, there's a hub and there's a keyway in the gear here or the wheel here part. Okay, the slot in an axle is known as a key seat. And the slot in the wheel is known as a keyway. Okay, so in the actual wheel is a keyway and a key seat on the axle. So let's take a look here, a hub. This is part of the wheel, so it's not the whole wheel. This here is the hub. It's where the uh, pin goes in or the axle goes in is called the hub. Okay, on the hub we have a keyway. So the keyway is, is here. Here's the key, so it shows this part, the key goes sits in the key seat of the axle shaft or pin here and you have to cut it out here and when you do do the hole here you have to cut out the keyway okay what well, they machine out the keyway in order for the key to fit now these parts fit together so so that when the one turns so if something turns the uh the axle the wheel turns and the force is transferred through the key and it makes sure that wheel turns along with these this uh, pin here or this axle so when this spins around this causes this to spin around and this doesn't just spin around on the in inside the hole okay so here's another view here okay they're fancy books and you can look up the dimensions and determine the size and tolerances of the keys there's a book called the machinery's handbook for our case uh, I will give it to you a uh, Unfortunately, we're doing this course through distance learning, so uh, I can't get into details on how to find these values. It is quite complicated, so I will give it to you, and I'm just more interested that you understand the concept and that you can draw it. So we're going to go over to my AutoCAD drawing, okay? And I'm going to try to do this in two videos, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. So here's our wheel, okay? Here's the wheel. Okay, and in here we have a little slot come out, come out where the hole is. See where the hole is? A slot comes out. Okay, and it's tolerance as well. Okay, and I'll show you in the next video how to add the tolerances and how to do this. Okay, over here is our pin or our axle. Okay, so I, I made the simplest wheel I could. Just a, a simple, simple wheel here and a simple, simple axle. Okay, in here is the key seat. Okay, the key sits on this part here. There's a little cutout here. We call this the key seat. Over here, we have our keyway. Now, when you assemble and you put this piece together with that piece, you add the key at this time. So in here, you put a little rectangle and it lines up right with the end. And here it goes to where the, where the circle ends. Okay, this is known, this is the actual key that fits on the key seat and goes in the keyway. Uh, this here is known as a hub. Right here, this part here is known as a hub. So on the next video, I, I will go over how to draw this. So I will take it, a uh, drawing which has nothing, no, uh, no keyway, no key seat, and I'll show you how to draw it over here.